Let's go ahead and start with a treasure. Good morning, Honorable Judge and Commissioners Raul Reyes, County Treasurer, for the record. Good morning to you, sir. This morning, Your Honor, I have the presentation of bills and disbursements and the monthly report for the month of December 2023. For the period of January 5th, 2023 through January 18th, through um, I'm sorry, 2024, uh, we did have 246 checks that are ready to be uh, disbursed, and that's for the payment of 448 invoices. And that disbursement total, Your Honor, is $392,412 with 18 cents. We also have 135 electronic fund transfers uh, for the payment of 432 invoices, and that disbursement total is $3,270,985 with 90 cents. I'm not sure if you have any questions regarding this first portion. Questions or comments? None had, sir. Uh, we would need approval to go ahead and disburse these payments. Move. Second. Motion seconds. Any opposed? As per the general order, checks released prior to today's meeting, we had 70 that were printed and uh, sent out, representing the payment of 299 invoices. That disbursement total, judging commissioners, was 115000 $939 with 58 cents. We also had one electronic fund transfer uh, and that disbursement total was $15,000 and that was for the payment of one invoice. And you'll see there the breakdown in terms of what these uh, payments are for. The next item is the payment ratification. Um, we did have some requests. Uh, we had four requests by departments. We had 16 forfeiture uh, checks and we had no tax refunds this period. There were 11 checks processed, one EFT. The disbursement for the checks were $402,996 with 69 cents and that was for the payment of 19 invoices. And then we had one invoice paid via electronic fund transfer and that was $3,000. You'll see there in the next slide what these uh, requests came from. I don't know if you have any questions. We would need to uh, formally approve the ratification of these payments. So move for the ratification of tax. Motion seconds, any opposed? Motion carries. And then we do have some side bills that have been requested by uh, a department and also the auditor's office. And those are 14 invoices that once approved, um, they were included in the actual packet sent uh, on Friday. That disbursement total would, would be uh, Thirty-seven thousand five hundred and sixty-eight dollars with zero cents. No move to approve. Second. Motion seconds. Any opposed? Motion. Carries. Liability of disbursements of county payroll. This is just for informational purposes only for the pay period of December 29th, okay. 2023 through January 11th, 2024. The total payroll disbursement for the entire county was four million eight hundred and one thousand nine hundred and fifty-one dollars with eighty-nine cents. Last but not least, in this first portion of my presentation, you have the Casablanca golf course requirement. You'll see there that the approved estimate for the pay date of the 12th was 41,000. The actual amount was $35,387 with 86 cents. Um, there is an estimated for the 26th of this month uh, of 42,000. Um, I was notified that they have increased um, the number of employees. Uh, and I would feel more comfortable judging commissioners if, uh, for this one time, if y'all were to extend to 45, not to exceed 45,000. No move not to extend, uh, I mean, not to exceed 45,000 by order. Second. Motion seconds. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. The monthly report for the activity of December 31st, 2023, um, the total cash balance at the end of December was $204,384,752 with seven cents. Our investment uh, uh, portfolio was $50,144,770 with four cents. So you'll see that the total portfolio at the end of December uh, was $254,529,522 with 81 cents. We have 80% 
in cash and 19.7% uh, in our investment pool, way below the 70-30 uh, that um, you know, we have as a basis. In terms of our interest rate of return, uh, based on all of the compounded interest for the month of December, we did earn $841,548 with zero cents in interest, uh, interest earned. And that total just for the, this fiscal year, October to December, it's already at uh, $2,333,027 with zero cents. I, I still have to comment how beautiful that looks. I'm sorry? I still get excited how beautiful that is. <laughs> yes, and we're monitoring the uh, rates in, in terms of the text pools as well. The checks issued report for the entire month of December, uh, general fund expenditures were $16,567,467 uh, $567, with 11 cents. In terms of our sales tax revenue, you'll see there that for the month of December, the county did receive $2,286,187 with 39 cents. And this uh, month in particular, we were above budget $202,854 uh, last month. We were a little bit uh, below. We were at approximately 47,000. Uh, um, so as of right now, um, year to date, we are above budget $180,080 in terms of sales tax revenue. With our bingo and mixed beverage uh, tax revenue, uh, we did receive $9,740 with 30 cents from the bingo taxes. And then we did uh, receive from mixed beverage $77,967 with 27 cents. And Mr. Treasurer, can I just ask you, I'm sorry, on the prior slide, can you put for a future, the last year is just so we can compare it. On which one? Um, on the slide Commissioner? there. On this one? Yeah, just put the 2022 uh, income versus 2023. Yes, we can go ahead and do that. Because you used to do that. Yes, on the actual thing. It, it is listed on the actual monthly report, but we can go ahead and include it in the slide if you want. To see how it's doing year to year. Mm -hmm. So the mixed beverage tax keeps on going up. I just wanted to point that out. Um, last month it was at 56,000. This month is uh, last, uh, in November it was at 56,000. In December it was at 77,000. So I'm not sure if that means more people are drinking, but we'll, <laughs> we'll find out there later. Uh, in terms of our uh, Webb County rents report, uh, we did receive $7,530 with 24 cents in rents and then we paid out $23,404 with 83 cents uh, in terms of the rents. Leases paid, uh, judging commissioners, the total disbursement of all leases paid. Remember, we have 22 debt service leases. Um, some are paid annually, some are paid on a monthly base. For the month of December, it was $298,608 with 25 cents. The permanent school fund, report, you'll see there that we did receive royalties for uh, Highway 44 and then Highway 59, and that total amount was $164,735 with 89 cents. You'll see there that the permanent school fund available balance at the end of December 31st. Um, obviously, you know, later within these upcoming months, the court will instruct civil legal to uh, make disbursements. We're at eight million one hundred and fifty-five thousand one hundred and eighty-seven dollars with thirty-six cents. And then, last but not least, the Tex-Mex parking lot. Uh, we did have seven hundred and eighty-nine tickets closed. Two hundred and seventy-nine were below the half-hour mark. So, therefore, five hundred and twenty-seven of them were actually paid. Uh, so the parking revenue for the month of December was $3,318 with zero cents. And of course, if you add the contractual revenue that we have, uh, the total income was uh, $3,818 with zero cents. Now, I do want to mention that we did not get any requests for vouchers, so I'm not sure if there was no jury duty or what happened there, but maybe they had an excess of the previous month, 
but we did not have any uh, vouchers re uh, requested. So therefore, you'll see there that it's zero. And last Thursday, we encountered a issue with the parking box CPU. Um, we're trying to work as fast as we possibly can, but it looks like based on the uh, work that was done by our staff on Friday, that we're going to uh, more than likely be sending out the CPU uh, for further analysis and see how you know it could be repaired. Very well. Yeah. Other than that, Judge and Commissioners, that is all I have this morning. Motion. Colleagues, to second. Uh, motion second by Commissioner Tigrina, second by Commissioner Gonzalez. Any other questions, comments? Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank,